Yo guys, how's it going? It's RetroJKT. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys some military vehicle mod. I haven't done, done a mod in about a week or two, so i um, pretty excited to do this. Um, this mod's a little bit laggy because the textures are so cool on it, but uh, I'm going to be showing you guys anyways. So currently we are sitting inside of the Humvee. Um, now, I'm going to be driving this out of here. I'm going to turn on my hood for you guys. Let's see. Alright, it's a little bit laggy over here by Alberton, anyways. Alrighty. So it does go faster than 30 miles an hour. Um, just for some reason, vehicles are a little glitched. So here we go. We got this Humvee. It's actually pretty fast. Um, I mean, it hits 60. It's not too bad at all. Um, there are five seats in it, and I'll go ahead and show you right now. Oh, I didn't mean to jump out. There are five seats. So we got one, two, three, four, and then we can click this button right here. Click F5, and you can get mounted on the top um, to where you can shoot enemies and whatnot, which is like probably the coolest part about this, is that there's a dedicated spot so you don't get shot from these windows so there's a lot of thought that went into that but um, it's a pretty nice car overall it's different type of wheels and different models um, they just look different in general they don't look too bad so I'm gonna go ahead and park this car over here and I'm gonna go back to Alberton where I have the rest of the cars and I'll put them next to here um, and I'll show you the cars um, so I'll be back in just a second Alrighty, so I'm back and I'm inside of the Tempest vehicle. Um, I don't know how many people can sit in this. I'm sure a lot. Let's see. Okay, so there's eight seats. I just kind of clicked F8. So um, eight. Wow, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. So there's eight seats. Um, I don't know how much this max is out at. I couldn't imagine that it really does go 50 miles an hour, but I'm going to stop it a few times just to see. Nuh uh. Okay, so it does go about 40, 50 ish miles an hour, which is not bad. As you can see, this wheel is like really big, so it does take a lot of the room in here. So if that wheel went down, so that'd be a lot better. But this is really cool for transporting a lot of people. Um, and it does, it seems like it could serve as a pretty cool bedroll spot. Um, do I have a bedroll? No, I don't. Let's see. I would spawn one in, but that's just a little waste of time. Yeah, if, I kind of feel like you could definitely place a lot of um, stuff back there and kind of have it as a, um, like a place where you can put all your beds at. So it's actually really cool. And I don't mind these metallic textures. I think that's what those are. Yeah. Those are definitely metallic textures, but um, like, like I said, with all these textures and stuff in the game, or these new ones, they definitely put a pretty big 10 FPS lag spike, um, which is kind of weird because playing in single player, or playing without recording these, it gives me 20 FPS, and recording it gives me 10, so I don't know, maybe it's just terrible optimization for these new textures, I don't know. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly go to Alberton. No need to cut up. We're just about to be done anyways. And um, this right here, I'm reading the notes from this. Oh, no. The Tempest was from, from Arma. Um, never mind. So, yeah, that was the Tempest. And this was said it's from Arma 3. Um, and this right here is the MRAP Cougar. M-R-A-P Cougar. And um, it seems like it's very short. I'm pretty sure Kikit's working on that because um, he's been a blender a whole bunch. So, yeah. It is a little short, but driving it from the outside, like most people do, anyways, is no big deal. So, third person mode's all good in the hood. Um, it just needs to be upscaled, probably a little bit more, a little bit taller. I mean, so this thing is a freaking champ. It goes really fast. Let's see five seats and the same situation you know you got the dedicated shooting spot let me see if you can pull out your gun and yes you can you know shoot some enemies from down there switch to seat and then get back up there really freaking cool I don't mind that at all 
Um, that's really creative. I, we haven't seen much of that with the um, with like the uh, official cars or vehicles. Um, I don't know why. It, it seems like it would be such a no-brainer to add. But um, it'd be pretty cool to see some stuff like that. But um, we're about wrapping up this video here. This is all of the cars. I will go ahead and put the IDs in the description. Um, I decided not to put them on the screen, and you guys would have seen that because it's just um, that there's no really any point to put them on the screen. It just gets in the way of the video. So, um, oops. I'll just keep them in the description so you'll always start finding them in the description now. Um, so if you can't find the ID to it, it's just going to be in the description. Let's get a thumbnail. Who's ready? Alright. Home. Bam. There's our thumbnail. I stopped recording because I clicked F9, but we're back. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please smack the like button down below. Comment letting me know what you think of these pretty cool vehicles and what you think about this whole shooting um, extra seat F5 seat. You so really damn really important. Really Not a bad idea at all. Everything you do shows me you know it. Behind it all, you are the motive. Don't tell you enough, but baby, I'll show it, show it.